What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome back to some more War Robots gameplay right here. In this video, I want to have a look at the map diversity we have in War Robots that uh, added over the last couple of months, okay? Uh, because there have been so many cool new additions to the game that we can now play with different depths and levels uh, and mechanics like lava. So let's jump right into the gameplay and see some of that. This video also includes a giveaway for all of you guys out there this time where you can get a definitive Giftbringer Fenrir, a really strong tank still useful and powerful in the meta of today, uh, together with 100 bronze event coins, 150 silver event coins and 200 gold event coins. And in order to do this, follow the link or click the link down in the video description pinned comment under this video right here and do this until January 1st uh, because then from December 24th to 31st, you'll be able to get your uh, price here in the offers tab uh, in the game. It will be listed here apparently. I don't know how exactly it's going to work, but here to the percentage icon is the, the offers tab and it should be in there uh, once you've done that, right? And make sure to know that the uh, minimum required uh, account level is 15. As you see, I'm 30 here. You gotta be 15 in order to participate though. And uh, other than that, I think it's I've mentioned it all. Yeah, so click that link. Beginning with one map that hasn't been added within the last six months, but it's still relatively new, I would say. It's uh, the castle map, or I often call it bridge because this is where all the combat happens. Um, it's a great map for, for some long range encounters. It's a great map for overall brawling because there are these focus points, like for example, the um, the bridges here, where there's always going to be some battles and uh, combat happening. And Castle was together with Carrier, one of the first maps to ever introduce a mechanic where you could accidentally fall down and get yourself destroyed because you fell into water, like on Carrier or here on the uh, <laughs> between the bridges. See, and now let me just try and attack the base because we already have somebody trying to do the same thing over there, and I'm going to use the. Uh, time they are spending trying to fend off this guy from our team to capture this, right? So maximum damage loaded there. He's coming in with his explosion, but I should have him really quickly. Boom. Nice. So here's the brawling that often happens on uh, on Castle, uh, where the combat revolves around holding and keeping this... Uh, this bridge, right? And one thing that makes Castle special too is the increased layers or levels that are, that, are, that are here everywhere. See, there's battles taking place way up high while we're low, way, way down low and uh, battling away here. So there's uh, this, this was something they did new with the, uh, with the Castle map where they started introducing multiple different levels to fight in, right? So we have, wow, this guy is going down so fast. Now let's go over to him. Swapping quickly to this Titan and... Boop, got him. Let's make sure these guys are gonna die. Okay, I think that Ravana is gonna die too. Whoa! Okay, he just killed both of these champs within a few seconds. Alright, so that was a castle that also arrived relatively new in the game. Let's jump into the next one right away. So the next map in line, ladies and gentlemen, is the factory map that came into the game. And it also added new effects like um, corrosive ground or acid ground. Right? You see here the lava, or I always call it lava, but it's actually just acid. And when you stand inside of it, I'm pretty sure you already know what's going to happen. I take damage, right? This is a new addition or a new f f a thing in the game. It allowed people using overdrive to get their overdrive active uh, without having to risk getting too much damage in the process. And uh, yeah, it's overall a great, um, a great uh, map addition or a great feature. That's very, very, f that's pretty fun. And uh, yeah, so uh, other than that, the map is relatively small, right? It doesn't offer a tremendous size. You can do a little bit of sniping, but overall, most of the time, what you're doing here in this map is um, is brawling. Most of the most of the combat that's taking place is brawling, uh, which you can also see right here happening, right there. Boom, 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 boom! There goes the shell robot. We snacked him from high up uh, in the air. So this is the team deathmatch version of the map, of course, where uh, there are no beacons. Uh, and there's a couple of steel covers like this one there that uh, wouldn't be there uh, at the uh, beacon-based version. So, all right, this guy, he teleported back and I'm gonna have him right there in front of me now. 
because he happened to be doing that nice little teleport back. Boop, got him. And here we are in the latest addition into the game that's called Abyss. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen it already, but uh, this is a rather large map uh, with many uh, elevated positions on which you can sit. For example, this, where I'm shooting at right now, that would be a good one. You can fall down into the actual Abyss, that name-giving thing of this map. And another really new feature that has been added into this um, that really is interesting and changes the dynamics of this game quite a bit are the teleporters. You see right there the purple one and over behind this building a yellow one. There are per uh, teleporters that provide you with the op option of traveling to the other side of the map very quickly. Now this guy is going to teleport on to me now. As I was saying, <laughs> uh, there are teleporters. You see this teammate right now has disappeared into a tele teleporter and he appeared in 800 meters distance right over there. And uh, next to the lava, that's the acid from the factory that they repeated here in form of lava, uh, they've also gotten uh, the teleporters into the game. Now this guy has 300 meters range. I can drop him to last stand ra rather nicely. And then I start to fly. Let me just get him real quick. So I've added the uh, the nice um, effect on him there. And once the shield runs out, I get the stealth here. He gets one more of the shield and that's it for him. There we go. Oh, wait, that's actually an enemy. I thought that was a friendly that's coming in from behind. Uh, whoops. Okay. And whoop, shield up. Fire. And then finish him before he gets the beacon. Teleport back immediately to recapture it. Finishing this dude. Ah, our Titans are spawning and finishing him or trying to. And now let's use a teleporter. Here we go. You see where we'll, we will dematerialize and rematerialize. Whoops, over here. 800 meters away from where we just were. And the, the other teleporter to the right will teleport onto, not onto this one, but onto this yellow one. And they work in both directions, but again, they are disabled after you have used a teleporter. So if somebody escapes escapes you through the teleporter, you cannot use the same teleporter to follow him uh, into uh, into where he was j at, just at, you know? We're doing some nice damage at max range here, or at high range at least. And no matter how much he's healing up, he gets destroyed eventually. All right. Starting to fly. Here we go. Disabled his ability. We can hit him pretty well with the lasers. And another really nice thing that the map offers here, as I briefly introduced, is the higher levels as well. So they've every new map that Pixonic has added, they have learned more and more uh, mechanics and put them into the maps. Um, different altitudes and levels and positions to sit upon. Uh, and also, let me follow him on down. Uh, and um, these, the lava mechanic, the teleport mechanic. So we can probably assume that coming forward or going forward, more um, new maps released will also often include some of those features, right? And then the match ends. So uh, those were the latest additions to War Robots, and uh, there's different versions of certain maps like a night, night version of Moon or Shenzhen and stuff like that. And of course there's also Dreadnought, but it's also one of those maps that has been in the game for quite a bit. Uh, and this video topic is more like the newest uh, additions that new features are brought in. Um, and uh, therefore I'll leave the Dreadnought map out of it. Carrier, I don't think I need to show here because it is been a map that is in the game for quite a long time already. A uh, very progressive map where it's like forward, forward, forward all the time, right? Uh, you can try and sneak through, but overall, it's a pretty straightforward map that we have for such a long time already. So, Alright, so this was my little video right here showing you the map diversity that we have gotten into War Robots, the new features that were added. And yeah, don't forget about the giveaway I mentioned earlier, and uh, thanks for watching! Great uh, time to have you guys with me here during such festive... Is that even a word? It's this nice Christmas time, and I hope you guys are having a nice time as well. So, see you around, and uh, have a good New Year too. Bye!